Hey guys, welcome to one more episode of The Wall. Today, I'm on set with another EMP member. This is Lance Eustache, also known as Lancey Ace and Royal Lance. Now, Lance has been with EMP for quite some time and he has quite an interesting history with EMP. How are you doing, Lance? I'm doing great. And thanks for being here, guy. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. First thing I'd ask you is tell us about your origins with EMP. How did you become a part of Empire Arcadia? All right, so it started around the mid-2000s. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee was booming in the esports scene, or some people would call it professional gaming. I like to call it competitive gaming. And I started, follow, you know, started following the tournament scene, mm -hmm. you know, participating in it. And I've heard of Deadly Alliance, and I sort of followed them, and uh, I also wound up learning about the FTC, and I've, that's how I heard about Empire Acadia. Uh -huh. And then around, I think it was 2005, 2006. I think Triforce said it was 2006. Yeah, we were in neutral grounds, and there was a little session going on. They were with Empire Acadia and Deadly Alliance. Uh -huh. Justin Wong was also there. They were teaching, you know, like, the up and coming Smash Brothers players. Yes. Uh, the ropes. And yeah, that was how, that was like my first interaction with Empire Kadia. You know, there are a couple of things I wanted to ask you about. But there's one thing in particular, since you did mention Mr. Wong, I heard this really funny story. Oh, God. I heard a funny story. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> I, yeah. I won't even, I won't even introduce the story. Just get straight to it. Yes. So. I, in Farakaway, there was a couple of Marvel vs. Capcom machines, and in Farakaway, yes. I used to be like the final boss in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh -huh. and fighting games in general over there. Yeah. When, I was in, like, when I was in Manhattan, and I confronted Justin Wong in the rest of Empire Arcadia, I kind of... Sorry, can I ask you a question before you go any further? Why would you confront Justin? I mean, from what I heard, Justin Wong is like uh, the shit. So why would you... I mean, like, I didn't confront them directly. I was just saying that I was a little bit nice, that no one was able to do any of that infinite stuff okay. that was done that you see, like, in the Evo videos and whatnot. Uh -huh. I was like, yeah, like, nothing like that has happened to me until... Okay. Talk to me about the confrontation. What happened after you did this? So, I can't, so, like, so some of my shit talking was heard. And <laughs> that was when Triforce, you know, like, ish, in, Justin Wong sort of issued me a challenge. A challenge, yes. Yes. The infamous challenge. <laughs> and how did that go? Okay, so we. Because this went, is where it gets good. So we went. So we went up into Port Authority and went to the arcade that was connected to a uh, bowling alley. They had a few fighting games. They also had Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh -huh. I picked Ken and Ryu, and I'm pretty sure I picked Sakura. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely Sakura I picked. Okay. And Justin Wong picked his team. Uh -huh. You know, like we were going at it and he was uh, ready to completely annihilate you i'm sure yes uh he yeah he was definitely going after me he I think he missed the dp uh -huh. and then there's this magic but and there's like this magic mechanic where uh -huh. you press two buttons uh -huh. all three all the whole t your whole team ah, does tag, super. tag so yeah yes yeah a tag super yeah and one of his guys he lost one of his guys, and that was when Justin Wong got really mad, and he finished off the team. But now that we're talking about the games that you play, right? I get to understand that you're mostly, you're mainly into fighting games and card games, correct? Uh, yeah, there's some. I also do a little puzzle games, ah, like when yes. I so like when I was so when I was younger, I used to. Go to local tournaments. Sometimes I travel out of state mm -hmm. for tournaments such as Street Fighter. I also played Soul Calibur. That's like my favorite fighter game to play. I also played some Dead or Alive, 
and I've dabbled in some Tekken, some Virtual okay. Fighter. And what do you compete in professionally for Empire Arcadia? Um, Soul Calibur is probably, uh, I would say Soul Calibur is my main game. And talk to me about the card battlers that you have. Oh, my card games. Yeah. Yes. So one of the earliest card games that I've played is called Yomi, uh -huh. which would evolve into a fully fledged fighting game on mm -hmm. art, you know, a video game called Fantasy Strike that yeah. pretty much uses the same it uses the same characters as the original Yomi game. So that's where Fantasy Strike came from? Yes, it was literally a card game oh, first. I never knew so, that. So yeah, so Yomi was supposed to have Street Fighter characters, but David Sterling could not secure the license for it, so he created characters to replace the Street Fighter characters for mm. that card game, oh. and it started having their small following. I play, you know, I played, I started practicing the online version so I could sharpen my skills. Uh -huh. And then sometime later, I entered the uh, Yomi tournament that was at PAX East, which was my first ever tournament for that game. Okay. I actually got third place in that game. I think I only lost... For your first time, that ain't bad. Yeah, it's, it's not. Well, well, since we're here talking about where you're placed in some games, tell me about some of the stuff that you won at, like your victories. Talk uh, yes, to me about that. Yes, okay. Yeah, I, I actually did wind up winning a, fa a, fa a Yomi game back you know, a few months, like maybe a few months later after that win from... I mean, that <clears throat> third placing from PAX East. Mm -hmm. I've also won a local Tetris tournament. I won a Hearthstone tournament later into my career. I've gotten some world records. One of them being probably one of my most prominent ones was the Ghostbusters ones, which I got at Fun Spot when me and Empire Katie were there. That was when Justin Vaughn was still in Empire. Jerron Grayson was also there during the trip. And of course, Trifles was there. And for my other records, that would, that would include Wii Sports. Uh -huh. I'm like my baseball one, the home run one, was uh -huh. probably my most recognized one, as well as the biggest blowout for baseball. And I also got records in the Fruit Ninja games, the Bejeweled games. You got records the, in all of these games? Yes. Sweet. So that adds up to the Empire Arcadia wins. Um, well, two things. One, um, since we're talking about that, what's, what, 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 have you been, what have you been doing lately, like recently? Okay, so during the, pan, okay, so during the pandemic, yeah. I've been working mostly, but sometimes, but sometimes I visit the local arcade where I'm kind of known over there. Mm -hmm. You know, I sometimes... What arcade is that? It's called Round One. Nice I name. Think, <laughs> yes. I think it started in Japan first, but they started building some in the United States. Mm -hmm. Like, there was one down in Hicksville, Long Island, and they have games like Dance Dance Revolution... The, they have some classics over there. They have some revamps of the classics. And that's some cool stuff. But what I'm saying is, what have you been... And I know, I kind of oh, cut you off. Oh, what I've been doing. Yeah. Oh, yes. And also, there's this other game that I've been playing. I still play Hearthstone. I actually got my first Legend last year. Mm -hmm. I also played this ga game called Legends of Terror, which is a card game a digital card game based off of League of Legends. Great, great. All right, because you also made mention about when Justin, Justin Wong was still with Empire Arcadia. So let's go here. There was a point in Empire Arcadia's history, because, you know, Empire Arcadia is, I mean, Triforce and Empire Arcadia is quite impressive, not just because of their Guinness world records, but, you know, because of how, how, he, of how much you've done. And the fact that you, you guys stick to what you do. However, there was a time in Empire Arcadia's life where lots of players migrated, for lack of a better word. They left the team, and Empire Arcadia was in a pretty 
you know, a low point of its history. And you guys used to be at a place called Ark. Yes, the Arcadian Recreational Center. Right. I think that's a pr pretty cool name. I didn't even know that's what it was called until recently. I mean, I didn't know what that's what the Ark actually stood for. But things got bad to the point where um, you guys actually lost the Ark, right? Sad. It is sad. So, I mean, it being the Ark, lots of gamers are there. That means there are going to be lots of games there. Yeah. What happened to all that stuff? Okay. So, okay. So, the Ark was a thing of Triforce's creation. Yeah. There was many iterations of it. Uh, the one that you're probably talking about was like the fifth or sixth generation. Ooh, of didn't know that. Arc. Yeah, so how, the, how it was funded was that not only Triforce contributed, you know, like, there was some players who would stay in the arc who would also contribute. There was sometimes, you know, there were other players, myself included, mm -hmm. who may not always live in there, but you know, like, you kept you know, like going. when they had it, you know, like when they, you know, like, we, you know, like when we had it, you know, like we would voluntarily, you know, like contribute to the bills. And there was like a lot of, there was like play, and we had some heavy hitters and you know, like if I, Name a ball will probably be here forever. Fair but enough. you know, like they, you know, like they would, you know, like you know, out of their generosity, would contribute to what would fund the arc. Kind of like a teamwork makes a dream work kind of approach, eh? Yes. Fair enough. So when Justin went to another team, mm -hmm. which was in like I think in 2009, 2010, mm -hmm. that was when the bleeding started. That was when, you know, like other players started moving away from the team. Mm -hmm. And when there were less players, that means less contributions. Less resources. In. Yes, mm -hmm. less resources. Like we tried to sc scrape, uh, we tried to scrape to keep the are going. Uh, Triforce even had to work at a game shop for a while Did just to, to attempt. Yeah, just to attempt to keep the thing going. But yeah, but as much as we wanted to keep on to it, we couldn't. So that was when we had to let it go. Okay, what happened to the contents other than the occupants? What happened to the contents of the arc? Oh yes, the the trophies and the games and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I helped Triforce acquire a storage unit. Oh and yeah. So of course, all of the Logical. all of those items are in that storage unit, and it has it been touched. Um, what are like your plans moving forward with Empire Arcadia? So. I I mentioned that I've been doing the card games. Yeah. There's this one card game that I've played. It's not electronic, it's actually physical. Mm -hmm. It's this game called Super Show that's made by a company called SRG Universe. Uh -huh. It's based off of professional wrestling, actually. You okay, never heard of that one, okay. It's like, uh, not many people have. Are you saying that that's what you're now working on to Competing professionally, I actually. Is there actual esports around that? Uh, there's actually competition uh, around that. I've actually won a cup. Uh, I won a tournament like at the beginning of two of the beginning of this year, and uh -huh. I also won my first tournament in two on um, 2020, where I've beaten Chris Pay, uh, Christopher Pate. Uh huh who was the player of the year of that year. So yeah. I've actually won a very valuable card when I won that tournament. Nice, and this was online? Uh, that, yeah, it, it was like a remote play. Nice. So like because of the pandemic and the lockdown, we couldn't really compete face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. So we had to use set up these webcams and put them over our playing field so we okay yeah it's makeshift like and they, and you, this game is called what's, what's the name of the game again super show super show interesting 
That is interesting, Sir Lance. Well, that's quite a lot of information you gave me there, and I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, Lance. It's been great talking to you. Guys, you've been watching one more episode of The Wall with one more of the giants of EMP. Today, it was Royal Lance, Lancey Ace, also known as Lance Ustache. It was great having you, sir. Thank you for passing through. Until next time, you've been watching The Wall on the Lab Video Game TV, where our game is never over. <laughs> <laughs>